Right, um, you might think this looks a bit of a bush up, but I'm trying to think on my feet here. Now, what my next thought was um, is the problem with the the fan height because obviously I want it to be <coughs> as near to the top of this lid so that the magnetism can get through and I need it to go up and down to position I want. And what I thought was is I didn't particularly want to drill to the bottom of that and have four holes coming through and it might go a little bit you know because it's not not really spaced out properly if you know what I mean it'd be best if you got four screws on the edges so I wanted to keep this flat really so it's nice and flat on the uh, on the bench or table wherever you keep it and it won't you know be vibrating or whatever so my thoughts were I've got I wanted to find something that probably everybody's got and we've all got screws kicking about so my thought was um, screw the thing through there all the way through and then once I get the height right it's not going to move much once I get the height right saw it off right and this part then I've got like these bloody things the screw covers I've got quite a few of them and I thought what I'd do is glue these to the bottom of the box and then just place that over there so it's not going to move anywhere that's that's my idea so it's nice and neat so that's my next job is sort of get the height place it in the box with the four screws cut the the screws down once I've got the height that I want and uh, it might sound a bit Eth Robinson, but we'll see how it goes. So, let's see what height I need. You see, I can get the exact height that I need and then I can screw the screw, <laughs> cut the screws off and uh, stick the thing in. So, I'll, I'll try and get it levelled up and then I'll, I'll come back to you. Right then, I've got it so it's flat it doesn't wobble or shake about and if you look across the line of it the magnet is dead in line with the top of the box right so hopefully when I put a straight edge across there which I want to do the uh, the, the motor will still spin so let me get a, a straight edge and we'll set Just top it up a bit. Right, so magnets on. That's holding because of the little magnet in the motor there. And then I'll just put the stray shed across and see if it spins. I think it just wants to go down an atom more. So I'll just lift it up and just screw about half a turn on each one. And slot it in again. It's just catching it still, so I'll just do a bit more.
there we go. So hopefully, hopefully, when I saw these screws off and put this lid on, it'll spin without seizing. But I've got a little bit of movement there, any road up. So I'm going to cut these screws off. I'm going to uh, take them out to do it, I think, so I don't damage the uh, the fan. So let's do that next. Right, what I decided to do uh, with the screws, which is working quite well, um, I marked with uh, a pen the mark, the position, and then what I did, I screwed this all the way in. Like that. And then uh, get me mole grips. I can find the mark. There it is. Move it around so I can see it. And then hold that with my mole grips. And then add it the other way round last time because I'm caggy handed. And then I just rest it, where is that? Uh, rest it on the end there and uh, sorry it's off like that, I found that about the easiest way. So there we go. And then I just got the, uh, where is it, the trusty file and just smoothed off the You know sometimes in life when you're very, very lucky um, and it isn't planned, let me show you what I mean. I've put the screws in, right, and got the right height with the magnet. And I thought, right, I'll try it for the right height. And on the box inside, look, you've got these bloody ridges here, look. See the ridges down the side here? Well, when I place that into the centre of it, well, it don't move. It like falls into the ridges. <laughs> so once the box is on, it's not going to move. So, I'm just a bit jammy there. I was going to put these rubbers on the bottom to stop it from sliding across, but there's no need because, well, it's solid. It just fits nice, it's really weird. I guess it's just luck. So, what I'm going to do next is um, drill the hole that side and that side for, for the electrical connections onward and upward. <laughs> 